1,900 Germans in Halle 39 in Hildesheim are on their feet, anticipating a fantastic climax. Dan Dawson in the commentary box to take you through this one alongside Rod Harrington. And a lot of the guys here, these are the two they wanted to see in the final. Let's make no bones about it. I think uh, to everybody, these are the two that they wanted to see in the final. Certainly, we did. No disrespect to any other player, but uh, this leads perfectly into Thursday night in Liverpool. But both players evenly matched. The pace of both players will suit the game perfectly. And uh, it's going to be down to a couple of missed doubles, or perhaps the one that can get out the gate quickest. Get in front, get one or two legs up, and then just keep pounding that treble 20. 85. Well, these two have had some real tear-ups, particularly over the last year or so. A phenomenal 6-3 winning sets in the semi-final of the World Championship for Gary Anderson against Michael Van Gerwen. Van Gerwen did him in the semis of the Premier League last year. That was 8-7. He beat him in the world the year before last. That was the game where Gary Anderson said, right, I've had enough. I'm coming back. You're going to see the real Gary Anderson. And my, hasn't he delivered on that? Well, Michael Van Gerwen sets it up absolutely perfect. 12 darts thrown, a double top required. Anderson still not on the checkout. But nice, tidy leg for Mighty Mike. Let's see if he can hit the double. The double is missed. He's lucky that Gary is not close enough on a checkout, but 208, a long way off. Not so far away now. Well, he's done everything he can do to put some pressure on Michael Van Gogh, and he missed three clear darts at double top, but has another three in his hand and wants the red bit at the top of the board. Now the red bit down to the bottom right, and he finds double ten, and Michael Van Gogh wins the first leg. First blood to the Dutchman. Yes, and a wasted 180 from Gary Anderson One now. However, follows it up with the 140. That's a perfect dart from Mighty Mike. Can he find his first maximum? That's exactly what he's done. We expected a brilliant game. And I know we're only in the second leg, but certainly living up to that expectation. Both men hitting 180s. They can bring the best out of each other. Absolutely no question about that. Bouncing here in Halle 39. Sounds like Gary Anderson has the majority of the support. It may be that his name just fits in better with Vincent van der Voort's walk on tune. Gary Anderson, 18, wants the bullseye now for one apiece. 61. He misses, Michael Van Gogh is back at 164. It's gettable, but it's a big, big ask. Needed two treble 19s for a shot at the bullseye. So Anderson will be back. One for double 12, I think, is the route he'll go. Yes, he likes the double 12. And double 12, it is. Double 12, he gets a 14 dart return for Gary Anderson. Six nil win against Justin Pipe, followed by a six two win over A.D. Lewis for Gary Anderson as he looks to fill it up again and has to settle for a one forty. A six four win over Joe Mernon and six one against Mensor Sulevich for Michael Van Gogh in today. Only dropped seven legs between them so far as Michael Van Gogh hits back with a one forty of his own. They are both at it in the early stages of this one as Gary Anderson back to back one forties. You feel, Dan, that it's going to take something exceptional to break the throw of their opponent in this game. Oh, the 180s, the 140s, they're flying in everywhere. The 180 here from Anderson will... Oh, absolutely brilliant. He's asked the question of Michael Van Gerwen. Nine darts thrown each. Now Mighty Mike, 72, double 18, double 18. Absolutely brilliant. Phenomenal dart. 
Michael Van Gogh, 12 dart leg under enormous pressure, and Anderson without blinking is hitting back. 41 after nine darts, and you don't get a visit at the dartboard. That's ridiculous darts. Absolutely ridiculous. 134. Well, look, it is 2-1 Michael Van Gogh in our scoreboard in the actual hall here, so it's 3-0 Michael Van Gogh, and I can assure you that isn't the case. Gary Anderson is in there again. This is phenomenal stuff. Oh, oh my word! He's out 180 in every single leg, and Anderson, probably for the first time this weekend, gives it the big one. Well, that's the second leg on the trot. He's thrown nine darts and left 41. Unreal standard from the flying Scotsman here, the world champion, looking at double top for an 11 dart it's leg, and there it is. Gary Anderson has come to play proper darts, putting on a show here for the 1900 crowd. <laughs> Michael Van Gogh! Oh, well, it looked like we were going to have a seventh 180 and just the fifth leg. Look at these numbers! Nice. 123 plays, 124 averages for the first three visits to the board. 116 average for Gary Anderson. He's only two apiece. Nice. Not very often. You hit a ton and your average is going to come down. Can they keep it up? Is one of these seven. players just going to go off the boil a touch, which allows the other one to get control of the game? 134. Well, playing like this, either of these guys would have been 4-0 up against most other people, but they are going toe-to-toe. Michael Van Gerwen with a hefty advantage in nice. this leg. He needs to hold his throw again, take a 3-1 lead. Treble 20, down for treble 17, for double top for a 1-5-1. One, one. And Michael Van Gerwen is flying, it's another 12 dart leg. Oh, this is ridiculous! standard of darts from these two, the top two seeds, the world number one Michael Van Gogh and the world number three Gary Anderson. This is the place that they're in. Michael Van Gogh takes out 151, Gary Anderson steps up as if nothing has happened, fires in a maximum. Five 180s to Gary Anderson to two. There will be top, top players in the world of darts watching these two and going, I'm not sure I can do that. They're playing a different game. They've levelled up. They are end of game bosses, these two. Ton 40 for Michael Van Gogh and gets him down to a finish before Gary Anderson needs to find at least one treble, you think? Oh, that mm. makes it awkward for him. Oh, oh, how has he done that? Michael Smashed it between them. Put an extra few knots on that third dart. But now 57. Now he wants the bullseye to break the throw. Bullseye! Yeah. It is! From Michael Van Gogh. He's taken out 151. Now he takes down 167. And that look from Gary Anderson told the story. Unbelievable darts here from both players. Two of the greatest players Whoa. ever to have played the game, playing at the very top of their game. Absolutely ridiculous starts we're seeing. 25. You people that are watching this, wherever you are in the world, are watching something special. And the people that ain't, you tell them you've watched possibly one of the best games of darts we've ever seen. Oh, Michael Van Gerwen going. Four darts into the perfect nine there. A little nice smirk set. on his face as he missed the treble 20 again. 1-5-1 one, one, followed by 1-6-7 checkouts in the last two legs has given him the advantage. And look at this, he's hitting what he wants. This is ridiculous. He's on for a 10 darter here. Well, we've actually sent everything but the nine dart leg. That's a 10. Unbelievable darts. Michael Van Gerwen takes a 5-2 lead. I said then that it was going to take something special to break the throw of the, uh, their opponent. 
and it took the 167 for a 12 dart leg to do that from Michael Van Gerwen. What's that 17 dart leg doing in there? Oh, look at that. 12, 11, 12, 12, 10. Oh my word. It's, it's something when, if you're taking more than four visits to the board to finish a leg of darts, that's rubbish. His absolutely incredible darts, and Michael Van Gerwen is looking to end it in double quick time against the world champion. Oh, this is unreal. Oh, it breaks out of the treble 20. It would have been a fourth 180 for Michael Van Gerwen. Gary Anderson's at five. Only in the eighth leg. 95. Oh, and Michael's in there again, and again. This leaves 58. <laughs> After nine darts, he only wants 58 this time. I mean, it's a pretty poor leg, to be quite honest, because he wanted 32 after nine in the previous leg. What can you do against this? Michael Van Gerwen playing on another level. Even Gary Anderson can't live with him. He's looking at double top for an 11 darter to win it. He finds it for a 12 darter. A scintillating match. Absolutely unreal from the world number one with 117.9 average. Michael Van Gerwen wins his fourth European Tour event with the greatest display in the final of a European Tour that we have ever seen. He has taken the world champion apart. Anderson threw everything at him in the opening stages. Even Kurt Bevins can't quite get his head around it. Mighty Michael Van Gerwen has delighted this German crowd and provided a fitting finale to a stunning tournament. Van Gerwen, he's been untouchable for these last few weeks. He won twice in the UK Open qualifiers. He's only been in the final of the other one. He's thrown four 12 darters and a 10 darter in a 6-2 victory over Gary Anderson. Absolutely spellbinding. Is there anything this man can't do? He missed out on the world title this year. He has shown everybody that he means business for 2015. And if you like that, these two are going to meet again on Thursday night in Liverpool in the Premier League.